Hey, hey, little scientists. It's me, Sparky the light bulb, and welcome to the STEM Spark Zone. Today, we're going to turn milk into plastic. Yep, real plastic you can mold with your hands. Here's what we need. A cup of warm milk, four teaspoons of white vinegar, a cup or mug, a spoon, a strainer or paper towel, and a little imagination. Okay, let's mix up some milk magic. First, pour the milk into the cup. Nice and warm, that helps a lot. Next, add the vinegar. And now stir it up. Hmm, whoa, do you see that? The milk is getting all lumpy and weird looking. That's called curdling. It means something sciencey is happening. <laughs> Let me explain. Milk has something called Hassein, a special kind of protein. When we add vinegar, which is an acid, it makes the casein stick together in clumps. That's a chemical reaction. The milk is changing into something new. Now, let's strain out the lumps using a paper towel or a strainer. Look at those blobs. That's your milk plastic. Press the blobs into a shape you like. Maybe a coin, a heart, or even a star. Then let it dry for a day. Ta-da! You just made homemade plastic. Did you know? People used milk plastic over 100 years ago to make buttons and jewelry. Now you've made your very own. How cool is that? Hey kids, I did have one question from an inspiring scientist. The question was, what's the connection to cheese? Well kids, milk contains casein, protein. When you add an acid, like vinegar or lemon juice, it breaks the protein bonds in the milk. These broken proteins clump together into solid bits, called curds, and the leftover liquid is called whey. This is exactly what happens in cheese making. What's different in your activity? In your stem activity, the curds are dried and molded like plastic. In cheese making, the curds are pressed and sometimes aged, with added salt or bacteria to change the flavor. Here's a fun fact for all you kids. Cheese is like milk's superhero form. It goes through a change and comes out stronger, tastier, and a little bit stretchy. Remember, science is everywhere, even in your kitchen. Keep exploring, keep experimenting, and keep shining bright like a STEM star. Thanks for joining me on this science adventure. Till next time, stay curious.